up until two years ago, I was making very refined, detailed work. I, I wanted to limit the format of my work because I, for college years and three to four years after college, uh, I was just jumping around, idea to idea, process to process, and I was learning a lot, and, and a lot, some of it was good, some of it was crap, but I realized I, I needed, I felt like I needed to narrow my limits and, uh, and really focus on a body of work. So I decided on the turned form, the circle and the square, uh, which is going, going back to graphic design in the sense that the work isn't very deep. It's shallow relief, mostly the surface. So you have a, a very simple form, a compound curve, and that's an ancient, an ancient uh, image. They're used for contemplation, meditation, and um, it's a way of communicating an internal experience. And so the abstract geometry does literally speak to principles of the universe. You have the circle and the line, on and off, day and night, breathe in, breathe out. And the void in the center, which is the, em the, the, the bowl in the center, which is the void, the empty vessel, where Everything comes from the void. What is the void? It, there's nothing there. But all of this, where the hell did it come from? Right. So the void is just the answer to that. There is no answer. <laughs> it's the void. Why did I choose wood? Um, and casting metal, uh, you're removed from the material. Wood is a direct material. You never put it in the kiln. You never cast it. You, know, you do something to it and it's done. And if you want to change it, you're direct with it. You just keep working it. What What's left is what you left it like. You know, there's no separation. So the directness of the material, um, the fact that it's, it has a warmth. I mean, we build, we live in wood. We love it. I used to have an idea, a format, and all the ideas had to fit inside the format. And I still have limits in the sense that I have, you know, there's an eye, there's a bridge, there's a pod, and those, those singular images have their own metaphors, are their own metaphors, and then combined, they make new metaphors. Uh, so my limits are now a selection of images, but formally they're unless constricted. I think I'm going way out in left field. I was out in right field, and I figured out right field. And I kind of mastered it, that little, just a, a little section of it. And now I'm going way over here, and I want to be in the middle somewhere. I'm enjoying it.